I can't say for others, but this first official look at James Gunn's Superman over here looks like it came straight out of one of those cheap CW shows. Not to mention it almost looks like we have evolved Godzilla from Godzilla x Kong letting out an atomic breath over Metropolis right here. I mean if we look at David Korinswet's face over here, it looks like even he himself is not quite happy about this whole situation just like us. But I am not going to be too negative and harsh because comic book costumes have a decent history of looking bad in still images. If my memory serves me right, even Robert Pattinson's Batman kind of looked like that wannabe Batman guy from Dark Knight who wore hockey pads in that first official teaser. But once I saw the costume in the actual movie, it immediately turned out to be my absolute favorite Batman costume of all time. So until I see David Korinswet's Superman in motion wearing this costume, it is actually pretty tough to have a real concrete opinion. There are definitely some parts about this costume which look pretty cool. For instance, this looks very much inspired by Superman's new 52 costume which by the way is one of my absolute favorite Superman costumes of all time. Another positive about it is the fact that David Korinswet with his hairstyle looks pretty accurate to the character from the source material. It's just that I wished he smiled a little bit over here rather than acting like a depressed emo teenager. I think the cameraman really should have reminded this dude that he is actually playing a character who literally stands for hope and positivity. Speaking of the cameraman, this picture almost looks like Superman right here is inside some kind of a shoe store trying out his favorite pair of sneakers. I mean we could have easily had a picture of David Cornsweat's Superman flying across the sky or something similar to this one. This official image with his upper body bent over makes his costume looks kind of baggy over here at his shoulder joint and the chest area which really downgrades the overall look even further. The colors on the costume look decent despite the terrible lighting on the image. The best part about this whole thing however is something which many of you would agree with me is that Superman actually has trunks in a proper live action movie which is great to see. The presence of trunks alone makes up for a lot of negative aspects about this suit for me personally. To be quite honest with you, if James Gunn did not post this image, and I just randomly came across this on social media, I would say this was some kind of a fan art or some kind of a cosplayer trying out his own version of the new 52 Superman costume. This costume reminds me of that absolutely awful looking outfit from that one episode of the CW Supergirl show. Unlike Henry Cavill's alien tech Kryptonian costume, this one looks much more organic and something which could be made at home with a decent budget. I understand some of you guys might have wanted a more grounded and realistic Superman costume which could be made by Martha Kent but you also need to realize that Superman's costume is supposed to withstand a lot of battle damage. But let alone bullets and missiles, this costume over here does not look like it could even withstand even a simple scratch. And most importantly, the Man of Steel normally flies at hypersonic speeds which is basically a speed which is even more than the speed of sound. I do not think this ridiculous Walmart costume even has a remote chance to withstand the insanely high amount of aerodynamic drag and the resulting heat without catching fire. I mean I would have happily accepted this if Superman Legacy was some kind of a low-budget CW kind of a show or something. But for a movie produced by a big production house and a legendary filmmaker like James Gunn, this is definitely a major letdown. But as I said, I am still going to give the benefit of doubt to James Gunn and the costume designer. I think we are most likely going to get a proper color corrected footage with proper CGI and VFX. So, I am going to reserve my judgments till I see his final costume in the first official trailer. That is all I had to share in this video. What are your thoughts on this first look at David Korinswet's Superman costume? Let me know in the comments down below. And please do not forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel because that is the only thing which motivates me to work harder and to bring you more and more such awesome contents. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.